about you guys being out here today one to, to give back to the community and, and to help us but number two we're always recruiting so uh, if you guys are you know there's there's really three types of, of, of players that come to a junior college uh, number one is, is guys that, that don't have the grades out of high school so obviously you want to take care of your grades you know we are a backup plan if, if, if things don't work out but if you want to go right to the four year that's going to be the best option for you so you obviously got to take care of your academics but if you're in a position that things didn't just work out for whatever reason that may be, understand that you always have a home here with us at CCC. So um, right now we're building our roster. Um, hired Coach Reardon. He was the Wayne State offensive coordinator last year. When we took this thing on, we had about 18 guys. Um, right now our roster is 75, 80, um, and growing. And that's all local Detroit kids. Um, we don't have dorms, so you guys are going to be the bread and butter of this program for years to come. Um, so, you know, that's number one type of player we recruit. And then the number two is going to be your, your Division One bounce backs. That's what you see on the TV show, the guys that are transferring, transferring, uh, looking for opportunities. But the transfer portal, that's really kind of dried up a little bit, which presents an opportunity for us to come in and recruit you all as a straight out of high school. So that, that brings me to the third type of player that we recruit, which is the under-recruited guy. So obviously, with the uh, transfer, transfer portal going right now, there's a lot that, uh, you know, a lot of you guys that are probably getting overlooked for a guy that's transferring from another school. So again, we will be a home for you. Uh, we're looking for hungry football players, hard workers, uh, guys that, that, that love the game and, and, and want to have a selfless attitude. And obviously, like we talked about, uh, with you guys being out here today, you, you already demonstrate that. So we really appreciate y'all. Um, understand that you know that we that we'll be. I'll be out at your game uh, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow night, right? I'll I'll be out at the game tomorrow night, evaluating you. Uh, you know how how you operate as a as a man, and also you know your skill set. But uh, you guys are taking the right steps, and we just really appreciate y'all. So we'll chop it up today. Um, with that, we'll turn it over to Eric. He's uh, head of Lawn Academy to introduce a little bit about what they do. And we'll get you some safety equipment. Do a little bit of work, we'll have some fun, and then we got pizza and water coming in a little bit to feed y'all. So again, thank y'all for coming out. Appreciate you. trailer we're gonna have maybe five or six of you guys with those weed eaters to knock that down and then we're gonna have some guys coming back to uh cut the grass right out in front okay we want to make it look nice okay we also will take those weed eaters and clean up everything along this fence now we got two hours to get this done from one to three o'clock so i want the best that i can get from you in two hours let's get this done as fast as possible we got tons of hands to get this done okay all right so let's go over here first. Let's get this going. Oh, Let me put some gloves. Oh, yeah. Remember, this is about you and you. This is about bringing the neighborhood together and the high point neighborhood together. 
So we're gonna mix it up. So Lyman, we're gonna uh, get the equipment, and then uh, we're gonna head over to the weed whacker. So we get some Osborne Lyman to go grab a weed, weed whacker. We got uh, the Jimmy Lyman got one. Oh, they both got one, okay. Osborne Steel guys, come get trash bag, please.
Of high school. Don't take it for granted when you miss practice and don't say nothing. Don't take it for granted you don't text coach back. And so like, although these guys are still mature and they go, they do know where they kind of had their stumbles at. And so like, they're going to kind of share their story or anything, any pointers to talk and get it up to where they can kind of stay focused. Come on. Man. All right. Hey man, if you talking, you can't hear them.
Uh, I went to Bowling Green State University. That's in the Mac. We won back here. We all know that. Then the problems went on. I wouldn't get no rest, et cetera. Still working. At the end of the day, they say high school is the most important years to be a working to get your good grades. Yeah. It is, but at the same time, you got to do the same thing you were in high school at college. College is way harder. So many different politics that come with it. So, that's all I really want to do. School and grades, bro. I mean, I transferred all I came here. I had D2 offers, but my, my transcript grades wasn't even all that, so I had to come to Juco. There's nothing wrong with coming to Juco, bro. Like you said, come on, hey, and I played with you. Yeah, Tennessee, bro. There's nothing wrong with Juco. So don't let nobody try to bring y'all down saying, oh, Juco, you ain't shit. Like, bro, I'm like, man, that shit. Don't worry about that. The people you all look up to, Aaron Rodgers, Cam Newton, who was Tank Dale. Yeah, I know y'all know. They all went Juco. But, man, Juco, you got people in the league. There's more Juco people that's successful in the league than it is that people that came out of college, bro. The big school. Ain't no wrong with Juco. Juco uh, gives you time to grow, too. To be honest, like, like they give you more time to put in work, set aside everything else, and just focus on you for real, for real. Literally, breaking your girl. Stay on y'all ground, bro. That's all y'all got to do. And most importantly, get y'all a degree, because that's what y'all coaches out here for. They want y'all to get a degree to be a future man, not just football and athletic. You got to be a band, too, and everything, really. Football, that degree, they said the NFL lasts not long. That's where I'm going to go. You gotta have a backup. I was about to say, have an idea outside of football, like you wanna start a business, something like that, anything, you cut hair, just, just make a, have a plan B. I know, I know that don't sound too right, like, you know, you feel me, like plan A always gonna work out, but just in case, you never know, because real world stuff happens. You don't even think of that as like no plan B. Like you got your plan. Like, I was about to say you got multiple plans. plans. I know I got multiple plans. I don't know about y'all. You think so think about it as your plan. This or the stuff you trying to do. Business to be established on you to start a business and still be in college. Like I know I got I got a brother that went to Rouge with me, he got a clothing brand. I wear it all the time, so I ain't got it on right now, but I usually would have it on. He got a clothing brand right now, still playing D1 football, making money on the side, and he got a full scholarship, so it's possible. Just do y'all thing. Whatever y'all got y'all mind on, just do it. Like literally, do it. It's gonna it's gonna happen. Appreciate you guys. Hey, so you guys heard it here, man. So sometimes with coach, when coach and I are preaching certain things and y'all, man, coach, man, you don't know what you what, what, what? You hearing it? You hearing it? I was like some of y'all, man. I graduated high school with a bottom of my class. Right now I got a focus on it. It's possible. It's possible. They need to hear that though. That would lose y'all everything. Attitude. I lost all my Y'all just gotta be coachable, man. Everybody in front of y'all, the coaches, they gonna lead y'all the right way. Y'all gotta follow. To All y'all got to do is listen. Tell you is the correct thing. They're never going to lead you the wrong way. They love y'all like they own. Just follow. Keep on going. Every single one of y'all got the potential to do whatever y'all want to do. For real. We love all y'all like this. Good job. Good job. Y'all that don't know me, I'm JD. I'm the Dean at Osborne. So look, we brought y'all here for a reason, okay? Clap it up for these fellas, man, because they telling y'all the truth. So look, y'all have to learn that, man, this stuff ain't easy. Is it easy? Yeah. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would be in the NFL. Everybody would be a pro, okay? But it's about learning how to be a man, too. And not only are y'all coaches trying to teach y'all how to play football, but really, we're trying to grow y'all into a man. A man that can make a positive impact in society, okay? All right, so that, that is the goal for us, to make you a positive impact in society. If football is for you, yeah, your coach is going to do everything to get you to that level. But everybody is not going to be a pro, okay? So we want you guys to take the school, the academics, very seriously, okay? Because that will make or break you, okay? 
because the statistics are against us. For us too, it was against us too. The odds are against us. So you gotta fight them odds, okay? So that you can be a positive impact in society. Not just in society, a positive impact in society. And that's the only reason I do this work. Okay, that I'm not getting rich working at a school. It's not happening. Okay, we do this because we love every one of y'all, even the ones that I don't know. We love y'all as men, okay? So man, let's learn how, let's, let's do better, okay? All of us can do better in some type of way or form, okay? Let's do better, okay? All right, and to piggyback on what you said, man, so we brought this unity thing together, man, because we recognize what's going on in the 48205, in the 48224 neighborhood, man. Everybody, raise your hand if you know somebody within the last four years that has died. Yeah, man, that, look at, look at this, look, that's crazy, man. You know what I mean? And so, like, we're putting things in place to try to minimize that from happening, man. When you know better, you what? You do better, you do better dog. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, with, there's positive men in front of you, like everybody's saying, that want to guide you in a direction. Like, I got to tell my guy, dog, I ain't going to chase you. But when you go down, I'm on to the next what? I'm on to the next kid. I'm on to the next man up. On, so please pay attention, man, what's going on. These guys done lived it, they done did it, and they finna go back and do it again, man. Pay attention to it, man. Let's go, everybody up, man. Hold on, let me say this real quick and end it right here. I mean, look, look, listen. We all love this game of football, all right? Everybody wake up in the morning and think about football. I don't go to sleep if I think about football. Listen, this game of football done define you, though, all right? I mean, touchdowns you score, I mean, tackles you get, I mean, the offense you get. That would never be able to define you as a man. You know, the main thing that would define you as a man is how you respond to adversity, all right? That's in life. You're going to always get hit with adversity. Everything's not going to go your way. It's not going to go your way, all right? And I'm going to tell y'all, me personally, I'm not a fan of the transfer reporter because that's a lot of people in the transfer reporter. That's a lot of people that's in there because of the situation. But a lot of people in there, they don't know how to respond to adversity, all right? So things don't go their way. First thing they want to do is get up out of there, transfer to another school. And that's why it's making it so hard for the high school kids to get recruited, all right? But not, not even talk about football, all right? In life, you're gonna be at a job that you're not gonna like. You're gonna have a manager talking to you that you're not gonna like. This is how now, some of y'all probably don't like how your coaches talk to you, stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta grow up, be a man, and learn how to truck through certain situations, all right? That's the main thing, all right? Just fighting through adversity, all right? Remember that, always remember that. You gotta fight through adversity, especially as young black men in this society that we in right now, all right? Appreciate the conversation. I came out today is because we also partnering with Osborne and Demi. That's what we're looking to do. We want to make sure you guys have all the opportunities that are available to you, whether it's through football or something else. All right? If you guys got passions that y'all want to explore, that's what the Lawn Academy is for. We are a work-study program where you guys get to go out, you cut lawns, and you get paid to do it. You get to learn those career skills like he was talking about, how to deal with adversity on the job. Because we're going to be sending you out to neighborhoods and grasses that look just like it did up here. You guys did a wonderful job knocking all this down. We were trying to build our communities back, one lawn at a time. That means we got to go to all the places that nobody else wants to go. Because do you see anybody else coming out here from the suburbs or anything to clean up y'all streets? No. That means y'all got to do it. And we're here to help y'all do that, to actually put the best foot forward to show that all of you guys are men, and you're men of this neighborhood, all right? And when men stand up, they protect what's theirs, they take care of what's theirs, and they handle their business, all right? Whether it's on the field or if it's in here. All you guys here, you saw all those cars driving up, they saw the Denby and Osborne jerseys, which you guys handle in business today. That's right. We want to give you as more opportunities. If you guys want to learn more about it, come to the Lawn Academy. We got this guy right here. He helps us with all the planning and everything that goes on. He's right with Osborne. And pretty soon, we want this guy to come in and help us too. We want to make sure that this world, you get whatever you want out of this world, all right? And we're going to be right here behind you, pushing you forward, all right? I'm Mr. Williams with the Lawn Academy. I'm representing Mr. Miller. That's his company over there, and that's what we do, okay? Anytime y'all need something, come to us because we're willing to help you. All right. Yes, sir. Unity on three. Everybody in tight, man. Everybody in tight. Unity on three. Family on six. Unity on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Hey, look.